I'm Jerry. I'm Jesse. And I'm Marina, and welcome to Neighborhood Nature. Hi everyone, today we will be learning about California lilac, or in other words, Ceanothus. You can remember the name of this plant by saying, see, I know this. California lilac, or Ceanothus, is a California native plant. Do you remember what native means? Right, it means originally from a place. In this case, California lilacs have grown in the Bay Area for hundreds of years. This plant grows like a short tree or a bush. It likes dry conditions for growing, and you can find it along the California coast. It grows all over SF and you can find it at almost any local park. Have you ever seen this plant in your school garden or at a park near you? These flowers contain saponins, which means if you rub a bunch of flowers with water, they turn into suds, just like soap. The Pomo indigenous people use the fresh or dried flowers as a soap for washing hands, face, and body. These flowers are a tasty snack for most bees and pollinators. These little buzzing creatures love the nectar from these flowers. If you see a California lilac bush at the park in your neighborhood, try to count how many bees or butterflies are buzzing on and around this plant. Hey Marina, do you know what time it is? Park fact! Hi everyone, it's me Marina and welcome back to the Presidio. Today we are at the Native Plant Nursery. Did you know the Presidio and many other parks have native plant nurseries? A native plant nursery is a space used to help grow and restore the native plants in the park. Many different plants including the California lilac and coyote brush can be grown in these nurseries and then planted throughout the park. California lilac flowers range from purple to dark royal blue. Did you know that shades of blue are the rarest color found in nature? That is because what we see when we see blue flowers, blue birds, or even blue fish is really a trick of the light. Hey Jerry, let's practice using our observation skills. Okay, let's do it. I notice this plant has green and shiny leaves. I notice that this plant has a smooth top on the leaf and the bottom of it feels really rough. The smooth top reminds me of the surface of an apple. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Catch us next time on Neighborhood Nature.